Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick preview to the series, the Battle of Florida, Tampa versus the best, one of the most exciting surprise teams, definitely the best surprise team of the season, in the Florida Panthers, led by Bobrovsky and Chris Dreger in net. Both uh, did very good this year. I think Dreger was obviously the ultimate surprise, really being able to become staple himself as a guy that definitely could be another team starter and really is a guy that potentially could definitely definitely be taken by the Seattle Kraken. But Bobrovsky did have a pretty good season, 291-906. He played 31 to the 23 games. I would envision he'll definitely be the guy to try to roll with as a veteran from the beginning would be my guess. But either way they go there, they got a good goalie tandem there now that Bob's got his game back under him. And then obviously Tampa Bay in that is led by the man, the myth, the legend, the best goaltender um, in hockey right now in um, Andre Vasilevsky, where if I didn't say it already, Tampa in their last 10 went 6-3-1, and one. Florida went 8-2, and two. so Florida was really hot in their last 10, but the key to this series, the biggest key is, which is almost unfair, Kucherov and Stamkos are back and healthy for Tampa. Florida has a very good team. They put their team together very smartly. Uh, Zito definitely could win the executive of the year because he brought in people very, very smartly. Um, they were thinking of getting rid of Yondel. They kept him. He actually had a hell of a season. Mackenzie Weger is one of the best uh, defensemen, pure, just steady defensemen in the NHL as far as I'm concerned. And then Forsling got even better this year. Nudavara had a actually adequate 30-game season. He only played 30 of the full handful of games, but by the end of the season, he was actually playing pretty darn well in Quinville's system. So everything seems to be going in the right direction. Uh, Gusev is also obviously on their team as some depth. They got Happy Niemi and Denisenko as young players. So Florida does have depth as well as Spencer Knight is depth in net. But the biggest key for them to have a chance to win the series is they got to just defend what is almost unfair that I brought up Stammer and Kucherov coming back. Now you already have so many guys on Tampa you have to look out for, specifically Braden Point and Victor Hedman. And now you have to add those two beasts to the equation as well. It's just really unfair. You have Point and Palat went off this year. They were both ridiculous. Both Gordon Coleman also had great seasons. Tampa already has a lot to reckon with. Then you're adding Kucherov and Stammer back into the lineup. This is definitely the toughest series by far to pick uh, when it comes to picking for the playoffs. I think this series is going to go seven games. And I pray, I know Steve Dangle did on um, the Sportsnet video for picking the series. He prayed it would go seven. This is a series. We definitely pray it goes seven games because this series is going to be a treat. All Both of these teams have very deep lines. So it's going to be, can Stamkos and Kucherov be the pure, effective, full Steve Stamkos and Kucherov? And I don't see why they can't be. Stammer came in and scored in five minutes. He played it in last postseason. Is actually was healthy for part of this year. I just got banged up at the end where Kucherov is coming right in for the postseason here. I think uh, Kucherov might have a little bit more rust on his skates, but Stammer's going to come right in and own it. And then Nikita Kucherov, I wouldn't be surprised if even with rust on his skates, it's still a B-plus player and plays a hell of a game. That's why I think Tampa will be able to take this series in seven, but this series is the hardest to pick, definitely in my imagination, for really the last amount of since I've been trying to pick series on brackets and everything, which has been for the past like three years, I would say this series is by far the hardest to pick in that time frame. This is going to be a great battle of Florida. I think uh, it's going to be a great goaltender matchup. I can easily see Bobrovsky stepping up even more in the playoffs. He started doing better in the regular season, but still wasn't the Bob that we remember from Columbus. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a great series from him. But I think the key for Florida to be able to win the series is Andre Barkov combined with the fact that their acquisition, the best trade at the deadline, that's helped the team really the most potential, even more than Taylor Hall, was Bennett really almost became a points-per-game player since going to Florida. He's a hell of a playoff performer. If Sam Bennett, that Barkoff line with Verhege, Duclair, the Bennett line with Huberdeau and Tib Owen Tibbet continue to just own it because Florida's third line is one of the best in the league with Wenberg, Hornquist, and Vetrano, 
that's when they would have the best chance to win this series. But I just think <clears throat> adding in to Yanni Gord, Coleman, Point, and Palat, who have been ridiculous this year, you're now bringing in Stammer, who has obviously played a handful of games, 38 this year, just got banged up at the end, and Kucherov, who has completely fresh legs and is one of the best players in hockey. That's just unfair. You're going to get that over the hump. They have two of the best defensemen in Hedman and McDonough also, and you're adding in Stamkos and Kucherov. That's really the key to the series. You're adding in two of the best players in hockey, some of the best players in the game. That, I think, is going to get Tampa over the hump, but this is going to be one of the most exciting and one of the closest series we've seen in a long time. Hope you all enjoyed this series preview again. I think Tampa will take it in seven. It's going to be a mighty close series, a great goaltender battle. And then I think there will be a game or two mixed in there where we do see these offenses show out and the goalies might not have as good of a game because both of these teams do have very potent offenses. But I hope you all enjoyed Florida Panthers versus the Tampa Bay Lightning series preview in the Battle of Florida. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day and enjoy all the great Stanley Cup playoff action. Peace out, everybody.